this is Ron. Thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. This is just a quick video to give you guys an update of what's going on around here. Um, I didn't have any cameras to shoot anything. I was not going to do it with my phone. I didn't want to get started doing that again. Um, the other little Canon cameras that I had, I kept having memory card problems. I kept dropping videos. It just wasn't working for me. And I like the Canon brand, so my son has this Canon EOS Rebel, and I thought I was going to start looking around and gathering, you know, a complete package. And so it seems like people in the house were conspiring against me to keep me from getting something before Christmas, if you know what I mean. Yeah, Mrs. Santa was really good to me, you know that. I ended up getting a Canon EOS Rebel 6. That's what I'm shooting this on. It's got full 1080 HD. That's not what I have it set on right now. It's on the minimum. I'm just playing around with the camera. I'm going to give you guys a couple close-ups over at the mill, maybe over at the lathe, um, over at the surface grinder. I got something going there because I'm going to try grinding some of my high-speed lathe tooling. Um, yeah, I got some additions over here on the lathe I want to show you. I've got some new tool holders and some insert tooling. Yeah, I know what that world's like. Um, I just can't seem to get to sharpen the other ones by hand. It's just something I'm just not grasping for some reason. So I can set angles over there um, on the surface grinder. I'll show you guys what I got over there and kind of give you a little look around so you can see where I'm at. And this is just a touch base and thank you for watching. Okay, let's get going. Well, over here on the surface grinder, I picked up a little toolmaker's vise and I was going to try to hold some of my, this uh, little boring bar I've got that you know, I stuck it in a little bit too hard and I toasted the end of that there and I was just going to see if I can put a nice new edge on that with my surface grinder but I didn't feel right doing it with a one inch wide wheel so and I apologize that this is a little bit dirty, but this is brand new. I've just been handling it with these hands. So I've got this quarter inch wheel. And it'll fit on here, but with the original retainer, there's no way that I could lock it on. And I just did, I didn't want to make a spacer for it. So all I did is take a piece of aluminum, turn it up. I measured this one, and I just kind of made a reverse, only I made it a little bit deeper so I can put different um, different wheels in there but this fits right over the top of the mounting surface it fits nice and tight and now I can go ahead and use this to surface or cut some of my high-speed steel tooling for my lathe. So we'll go ahead and give this a shot in the next video, but I need to get used to my camera first. Well, and another upgrade that I've done in the shop is I've gotten some insert tooling. I've got some CNMGs, some WNMGs, TNMGs, and some others here. Well, I don't, I'm not sure what these are yet, but I got a couple other holders for my lathe. So now I've got... I'm not sure what this one is right here, but I've got one of these, and I was playing around with it, and let's see if we can get in focus here. And... I went ahead and just played around with it this morning and I did this. So these TNMGs here, these are both new holders and these are just the cheap Chinese holders and the cutters that came in them and they're doing pretty good. I did the other finish here with those. Um, WNMGs, I only got one holder for that. I've got some old um, Valenite in there right now, and the TNM, 
no, WNMG, there we go. The WNMG here, I haven't tried these yet, but they're looking good and I've got them all set for center height. So I'm increasing my arsenal here. I know I should be learning how to grind high speed steel first. I just, I can't get it. I just can't get it. It's easier for me to dress one of these up with a nice stone and go ahead and start cutting. There we go. So this is as close up as I've gotten so far. And say, like I say, we're just trying out the new camera. Here. Here, let's turn on the power. Let's see how it captures something this close up. That was officially my first close-up. Yeah, she's just a little bit out. Looks like it's kind of tipping this way a little bit. So. Let's try a regular shot. And this is about regular distance I probably would be filming from. Oh, recording from. So this is what I was trying to copy and I tried my best so I guess I can show you what it come up with. Here's what I've come up with. So I could use it with the brown and sharp number 7 taper. I did it here on the lathe. It's, it's a little dirty. I've used it a few times. And in it is a really sharp 7 8 put up a couple more shelves over here. This is right over next to my brown and sharp port. I've got my steel stock over here that I've been collecting. I've got my dividing head up here. Um, somewhat book of instructions. I haven't really started playing with it yet. I've done a couple bolt circles and they didn't turn out too bad. But um, I put some drills up there on the top, and that's where I'm keeping my oil. 
but I've just got other scrap down there. Yeah, somebody got me a shop toad. Um, let me see here. Yeah, it's a remote control rat. My dog hates it. Let me see. I've got some centers, center um, punches. I've got the hold down set that my wife got me for my birthday in November. And this is where I am basically storing all my aluminum flat stock here. And I've got some angle over, you know, aluminum angle over here. I want to try to make a setup fixture with some pieces of that. Um, I don't think I got much more of anything. This is the bandsaw project we're going to do. Yeah, I can't wait to get started on that one either. But yeah, I got my welder stuck in here. It's kind of a mess. I've been trying to stock up on cutters. You know, I had this 3B chuck and it's got an 11 16 thread and it was this one here and I couldn't find anything for it on the internet with the 11 16 thread that I could machine to work in the mill. So I found another one. It said it had a 5 8 thread and I'm looking at it saying, yeah, I could, I could machine a 5 8 shank for that. Well, it's 11 16 Now I got two of them I can't use because whoever turned this down to half inch made it a few thousandths under and my collet won't hold it. So, let me see. Yeah, I've been gathering some tooling for my mill too. Anyway, uh, I was working on my mill the other day because the treadmill motor up here, I think it does not have enough torque to turn this cone pulley on top, the cone pulley down here, and the table feed. So the only thing I'm going to use it for is the table feed, so I think I'm going to figure out something else just to go on that pulley down inside there. And I guess I wouldn't need this big arm and superstructure hanging over the top there. Just something to mount my control box on. But that's another project too. So I've got quite a few things that I'd like to do. Yeah, and here's the beast. This is the three-phase grinder project. I still haven't done anything on that. I'm dragging my butt. I know, guys. But it's been a bit cold out here. And uh, I went and got this... It's almost like a the old style perfection kerosene heater, only it's a Sears brand, but um, I think it's from about the 50s, maybe the 40s. But uh, yeah, it runs on kerosene. It's supposed to give you a little bit of heat and no smoke. Well, I about knocked myself out in the garage. I had the front door open about two inches and the side door open about halfway and it still about knocked me out. So I haven't lit it since. I was trying to find a way to heat the shop without Mom saying, well, our electric bill is $40 higher because you got that new shop heater, if you get my drift. Oh, thanks for joining me today. This is just a short video. I'm playing with my camera. I got that new Canon EOS Rebel 6. Mrs. Santa was really good to me, so I can't complain. Anyway, I haven't had any problem downloading anything yet, so really soon here we're going to get something going. Um, I come out here early in the morning and I just kind of sit and... My butt gets a little bit cold and I have to go back in the house. My arthritis is just acting up a little bit. Well, I think that's it for now. You guys be safe in the shop. Um, don't do anything that I do. Uh, it seems like Mr. Bozo wants to visit me quite often. Anyway, thanks for joining me.